Hey guys, so it is Monday the 31st of August. I don't know when I'm going to air this, so I just thought I'd say that right off the bat. Um, I had to go do some not fun workman's comp related stuff this morning um, that was quite a few towns away. And so I had done a little bit of pre-research um, before this morning and I knew that up there in, uh, I was in Fremont, California, there is a Joann's Superstore never been in one before that I remember but now I have I love the Fremont Joann store I'll be back <laughs> um, it's like two or three times the size of the stores in San Jose I can't believe it anyway they had these speed containers that I've been looking at online now I didn't I don't need a ton of them the my other bead storage I was using will work for most of my beads but oh, I was really interested in these for my seed beads so I am going to try transferring all my seed beads into this and I'm going to be back and show you guys when I'm done how it looks and I got one of these which is the one with the more, how many does it have, 82 piece set. So it's got a whole bunch of the little tiny containers and then I got one of these that has and assorted, this one only has 45 pieces because it's got assorted size boxes in it. I'm going to start with this one. I did use um, um, coupons. The sales clerk at Joann's, super nice by the way. I, again, I love that store. I had a 30% off my whole purchase coupon. She says, put that one away. Get out your, let's go to your browser on your phone. She sent me to the Joann's store where there was a 40% off coupon I used on one container and then at Retail Me Not there was another 40% off coupon for the other container. So overall I saved a lot more than I was going to. Yay, thank you so much. Okay, so the reason I was interested in this is because this is the state of my current... <laughs> I know, this is so bad, right? This is how my current container of seed beads, it's so bad. Not only do I have probably way too many seed beads, but it is just hard to find anything in here. So I am going to work on transferring them. I'm not going to make you guys watch that. I'll be back in just a second and, for you, and uh, we'll see how I made out. All right, I'll be back. Okay, I got my seed bead collection sorted and put into my two bins. This is something I never thought I would do ever, ever, ever. Um, they're even in sort of color order, sort of. Not Roy G. Biv, but you know, like all the pinks and reds are together, all the yellows together are together. And then in the other one, I have sort of bigger collections of beads, larger size seed beads, and beads I have a lot of quantity of that I want to keep in here. Some like bugle beads and things like that. I love these bins, I gotta tell you guys. Um, and they fit much better in the space in my closet than what I was using. Not to mention, I can just pull my two trays out. I can see all the seed beads that I have while I'm working on a project. And that, isn't that handy? Love it. Um, I need to figure out what I'm going to do with my little kit of um, thread and needles. And um, maybe consolidate this a little bit too. Or put it in a new box. Um, and this is my uh, bead scoop. I was going to see if it fits in here. I wasn't sure it might. Oh, yeah, guess what it does. <laughs> All right, so bead scoop is in there. Cool. Now, I do have um, some beads left over because as I was going through and sorting my beads, part of the process was getting rid of some things I don't use, things I have too much quantity of that I don't like, or just, you know, I have, you know, how many different colors of orange beads do you really need? So I do have a lot of seed beads left over that I will be gifting to somebody. I don't know who yet. Um, yeah, I don't know, but they're going to, they're going to be gifted. So, um, we'll see. I have, and I have some ideas for some of them. I might, I might pull a couple of them out to use in some upcoming projects for you guys. Um, I actually have some ideas, so I might do that before I put them in the garage, but I definitely do recommend this and these trays by these are by Doris. You can get them at Amazon, you can get them at um, Joann's. Um, there's a lot of different places on, online that sell them, but if you have a Joann's superstore in your area that has them in stock, 
then it's um, you can use a coupon to get them. So that's cheaper than anybody else. Um, you can go to the Joanne website and um, look up the Doris bead box and um, it's an Elizabeth Ward bead box, but I just type, went to Joanne and I typed in bead box or bead storage and I scrolled down the page and there it was right there. Um, as part of their website, you can search to see if any stores in your area have it in stock. So that was really handy. That's how I found out they had some at the Fremont store. If they don't have them in stock, you can still order them through the Joann's website and use their coupon. So yay, handy. So I would do that and get them with a coupon because they are kind of pricey. I hope it gives you some ideas of what you can do if you've got massive quantities of small beads like I did. And I will see you all soon. Don't forget to go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye.